Have you ever seen a painting done on black velvet? Many of us slightly more mature people might remember bright, gaudy velvet paintings that were sold in the 1970s in parking lots and highway off-ramps. Because of this less than noble association, black velvet paintings quickly became the epitome of bad taste. But actually, velvet painting boasts a distinguished history. Produced in societies all over the world, velvet art is believed to have been invented by Islamic people who also wove designs into the fabric. One of the oldest surviving velvet paintings is a tiger from the 19th century Japan that is on display at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. From Japan, velvet painting was imported to the Philippines, then into Mexico in the 1930s, and finally into the United States. This project is exciting because we're going to use some non-traditional materials on velvet. The fabric I have here is actually a rayon velour. It comes on a 58 inch wide roll and is sold by the yard. I've backed a Blick Economy canvas panel with the velvet to add some rigidity. Any stiff backing material would work fine. Um, I've used Aileen's quick dry glue or even a strong tape to secure it. So once the panel is ready, we'll just start creating a pastel drawing on the surface. These Junior Cray Paw oil pastels work really well in the fabric. They're very opaque and enjoyable to work with. There's a beautiful tactile quality working on these, on the velvet. Um, there's a velour paper that is just for pastels. And if any of you have worked on that, you know what I mean about this tactile quality that you get on the surface. It just really pulls in and holds tight. After the pastel drawing is finished, we'll get to the mystery part of the project. Right on top of the oil pastels, we're going to apply these TriArt UVFX blacklight poster paints. They come in various fluorescent colors, a glow in the dark, and also include blacklight mediums that can be mixed with the paint. These will go right on top of the oil pastels. And since the pastels are oil-based, they help the paint sit right on top rather than being absorbed down into the fabric. At this point, I would like to think about what parts of my imagery would glow if the lights would suddenly go off. Uh, if you're doing a cityscape, maybe the lights would come on or the headlights of cars would glow. You might see reflections in water. Stars would shine. Maybe you'd even see reflections from the eyes of animals in the dark. As the paints dry on the velour, they actually soak in and pretty much disappear. It will just look like you have a nice pastel drawing. But under a black light, a completely new scene appears. Things that you didn't see in the pastel drawing pop out. I'm just using an inexpensive black light flashlight, but there are other viewing options for these mystery paintings. A full size black light works in a dark room, but there are also black light light bulbs. Or you could easily create a small black light booth built from foam core, or even just a recycled box. Just cut a hole in the top for the black light and then cut out a viewing area. If you'd like to learn more about this project, visit dickblick.com and keyword search Black Velvet Mystery. Thank you for watching.